Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. In this video, we are going to watch how to dock a panel on its uh, container. Here, in our example, this uh, form is the top level container. This panel is also a container. But here, we are going to dock this uh, panel on its container. That means uh, the container for this uh, panel is the form. So here, dock to top. So that's the option he, here we are having. That means we will try to dock this panel towards the top of this uh, form. So if you see here, first uh, we will implement the checkbox checker changed. Here, if you see, this is our uh, checkbox, and here we are implementing a checked changed uh, event handler. So, in the checked changed event handler, we are accessing the checkbox, and then we access its uh, check state. So, if uh, checkbox check state is in uh, checked state, then we will uh, uh, access the dog property, then we will set top style for this uh, dot property so when the checkbox is not in a checked state then we will act specify dot style as none so you can use other dot style properties also uh, that means you can use left or right or even you can dock the panel towards the bottom let's say this is our form and we will assume that this is our panel container so if i set um, top property to this uh, panel what happens the panel will be docked towards the top and if you see the shaded one is the panel so this entire one is the form so I can resize this uh, form so if I resize the form the panel also will get uh, resized with twice but uh, if I resize the form high twice the panel will not get resized it will still have the same uh, uh, size and position say so for example let, let's assume that we resize the form like this and if you see the panel will remain its height won't change so this is the height this height will not change if we resize the form height wise but if you resize it width wise the panel also will get resized here if you see the panel is get resized width wise now it's a demo time uh, we will go and implement the ducto top implementation for our uh, application so this is our uh, form first what we want to do we will click this uh, checkbox then we will access the property you can see in the checkbox we haven't yet uh, renamed it we just uh, keeping it as a checkbox one then i'm going to events then I'm picking a checked change then I am double clicking this empty area now if you see Here we had written our uh, first piece of code. Here we are checking uh, check state. When it is checked, it's already explained in the PowerPoint slide. We are setting top, otherwise we are uh, docking the panel to the bottom. So if I run this now, you can see this is the form and this one is the panel. The panel contains a label. This is a design time sample label. Now, when I place a check mark, so before that let me resize it with twice you can see the panel is not resized and even if i move it 
height wise that time also the panel is not resized now i am docking it towards the top you can see how it got docked in the form towards the top now if i increase the height nothing happens but if i resize the form with two eyes you can see the panel is growing so this those is the original size of the panel when i dock it to top you can see how it is resizing the same way you can dock the panel towards left and right also so the other options available here are fill fill will fill the entire container that means the panel will occupy the entire form component when you place left uh, the panel will be docked towards the left edge right it will get docked towards the right edge top that's what we are setting now and when the checkbox is not in checked state then we are setting the dock style as none so let me show this once again you can see how it is get docked and here you can see the gap between top edge that's all here in this video Thank you for watching. Bye.